Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain about how to use the context variables inside a TDB input or TDB output components. And previously, in the previous lectures, I have already explained about how to use a context variables in TDB uh, like T file output delimited and T file input delimited, as well as uh, some uh, like all the components which will work with the files as well as the databases. But in this video, I am going to explain about how to use context variables while writing the query inside a TDB input or TDB output. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. Okay guys here what I am doing is first of all I am just writing I am just including the TDP input component here and I am configuring it and configuring TDP input and TDP output I already explained in the previous lectures if you are not uh, confident about how to configure a TDP input with the corresponding database then please go to pre my previous lectures and go have a watch on it and what I want is I am going I am using Postgres SQL here and uh, don't be worried here uh, most of the people will be working on mysql but uh, in currently in my system i am having the postgres sql that is why i am using postgres sql here both the postgres mysql and sql all the all those having the same syntax just uh, we are uh, just uh, there are few advantages for the postgres sql and here what i did is i am already sa i already saved the uh, like a database connections in uh, metadata so i am using it I am showing the local Postgres here and all those connections are already their configurations. Now what I am doing is I am just writing the schema here. Schema is the three records uh, like three columns. One is ID, another one is name and another one is salary. And ID as integer and similarly salary is also integer and name is a string so I am leaving that. I am clicking OK. So now the configuration was done. And one more thing is, I am just printing the output in the T log row or like uh, in console. And what I am doing is, I am just uh, connecting TDP input as well as T log row component with the help of a main row. And here I am changing the configuration of T log row component to table here. And while I need to do some few changes because it is showing some error here, like parameter uh, query, like schema is different from the query. So we need to do the changes. So what happening is, so previously I have created one table here in the database. I have created the table known as sample and I have inserted the few records here. So if you click on select star from sample, these are the four records that I have created. So what I am doing is, I am previously going through here. I have created one context variable named as UID, which is an integer and having the ID value as 147. Now what I am doing is inside the component as we already seen the table name is sample and the schema should be like select id comma name comma salary from it should be sample and I am writing some condition here where id is equal to and what I am doing is we need to use the context variable here in order to retrieve the id value because we already created one id value in the context variable so I am using that id value here so how to use that is where id equal to closing the double quotes and I am using concatenation in java like plus symbol and if you click on uh, context and if you click on control plus space bar then you will be getting all the context variables available in your studio uh, like for that particular job and plus and I am closing this double quotes and ending the syntax of this uh, select query. So this is the concept that we need to use while using the context variable instead of TDB input component while writing the query. So what the main concept here we are using is the one thing is the Java concatenation because talent itself is uh, developed based on the Java. So here the, uh, the syntax will be based upon the Java only. So this is how you can write uh, context variables here. I am just saving it. So if you observe here, there are no errors present here and I am running this. 
so what happened is that there will be only one record here named as 147 because the uid is in the context variables we have mentioned the default value as 147 that is why we are getting the value as 147 record suppose if you mention the query something like that like if you if you modify the query like greater than or equal to then you will be getting two records here that means in our table we are having two records which are greater than or equal to like one is with 147 and the other one is here in the table we are having two records one is with 147 and another one is 154 so if you mention greater than or equal to 147 then we will be getting two records here so that is what i meant to say so if you observe here in the output also you are getting two records and that is uh, how you can write the t like context variables inside a tdb input as well as tdb output and this is how you will like you can use the context variables in multiple components as well just the basic uh, uh, scenario basic concept is you need to know the how to use the concatenation in java and how that can be applied in the talent variables and talent components so this is all about the using of context variables inside the tdb input and uh, thank you for watching guys please do like share and subscribe to this channel thank you